the chap who funded the election of Obama is now the American ambassador to London. Uh, he is reputed to be a member of a, the Zionist uh, faction, uh, who in turn are reputed to be behind Obama. Uh, if the momentum for one world government is abated, why is it the Americans are attempting to deal with Hague on this matter, and are they putting pressure on well, I don't, I don't share analysis of the new... I haven't met the new ambassador. Uh, I don't share analysis of him. I don't, I don't think he's in any way remotely a Zionist. He's, uh, he, may have, he is certainly a fundraiser for Obama, but I don't think he was that key a fundraiser. A lot of the money for, that Obama raised was on the Internet and in breach of U.S. electoral law. A lot of it was raised from Saudi Arabia and Iran and all sorts of strange places, Indonesia. Um, Obama raised a lot of cash, but most of his cash, to my knowledge, was not raised in the United States. It was raised via the internet coming in from hostile countries like Saudi Arabia and Iran. Uh, don't share analysis of the new American ambassador. And again, there's this, there's this great uh, fear of Zionism. Uh, 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 the, Zion, I mean, the, the Israelis are the good guys. They're on side. I mean, the, 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 the Israelis are the good guys. Uh, I would only, if, the, if, if I thought for one moment the Israelis are running the State Department, well, I can assure you the Israelis have virtually no influence over the State Department at all. The State Department is has been subject to German influence. One of the problems of the State Department was George Keenan, who was a German spy. The key man, the key, the key Abwehr man, the key DVD man inside state was George Keenan for many years. Um, a number of secretaries of state have been German spies. John Foster Dulles was one, which is why he was so opposed to us at Suez when the German spy Abdul Nasser was running Egypt. So you have one German spy in Washington supporting another German spy in Cairo, uh, fighting us, the French and the, and the Israelis. Uh, I, I absolutely agree that the State Department is pro-EU, uh, they are worried, and uh, when I met the State Department, uh, the EU subject came up, uh, there were very friendly, courteous discussions, but they did go on for uh, 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 most of the afternoon, and the subject of the EU did come up. But the smarter people at State, the really, the really smart people at State, who are in a little section called INR, which is the Intelligence and Research Bureau. The guys who do the thinking in the State Department, no offense intended, that's not the Secretary of State, but the people in the State Department who really think, who are paid to think, uh, who have brains and actually use them, uh, understand the EU is finished. They know the EU is going down. They, knew the, they know the EU is sliding down uh, the, uh, I, I can't, uh, uh, I was going to use an expression which I probably shouldn't. They know the EU is finished. They know Lisbon is a thoroughly bad idea and they know the UK is likely to be coming out. I hope you're right, but I... I think I am. The Euro is, the Euro is doing it, that's bizarre. The, Euro, the Euro's... The, 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 the Europeans made a big mistake with the Euro. Yeah. One lady at the back. point is that... No, no, Sharon, no, a lady at the back. Sharon, the Israeli Prime Minister, is on record as saying... Will you please... Will you please take States. your turn? Your you, you, you should give Somebody other people... Somebody else interrupted just then. Give what other people talk? a chance to speak. You interrupt too much. Lady at the back. This is a very short question, Mr. Chairman. Um, Mr. Shrimpton, you seem to be able to look into the future. I would <laughs> like to know when you think the interest rates are going up. That is all that bothers me at the moment. Everything else is lost. Uh, not. <laughs> The interest rates came down after we discovered the key German asset on the MPC who was blocking the reductions. Uh, he was had round for lunch. The Americans spotted his offshore bank account. Uh, they slipped the details to yours truly. Yours truly passed them on to the Bank of England and the Treasury. Uh, he was had round for lunch and interest rates came down. Interest rates will stay down because we, we, that person, we know who he is. Uh, we still are in a position to lean on him. It is unlikely the bank will start raising rates um, any time soon. So I don't anticipate any significant movement on rates uh, for, for the next few quarters. Uh, we know the Germans would like to force UK rates up, uh, but, but we know we are forearmed. Forearmed is forewarned, and I don't think the Jerrys will get away with it. And I, my tip for the next governor of the Bank of England is that very nice man, Mr. Blanchflower. I'd like to no, 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 no. That would, that would, that would deflate the economy. One question at a time. Mr. Shrimpton, yep. uh, with all this knowledge that you have, you certainly make me feel extremely uncomfortable being close to you in this room. Could you put a bomb under this table? Uh, no, no, we've Why checked for bombs. Um, could you possibly finger for me the people in the British government and the people in the high government circles who are these German spies presently? Ah, 
<coughs> that's a bit tricky because we're on the record. <laughs> uh, well, I, I, we could have that conversation off the record. Uh, we might have to have it over a cup of tea. I think we'll do that soon, yes. Um, the key German spies, historically, after 45, were Clement Attlee, success, the first two successive cabinet secretaries after 45, uh, because the Germans at one point ran the cabinet office. The Germans actually set the cabinet office up and put their man Hanky Panky in. Lord, Lord Hanky, who's known as Hanky Panky in the intelligence community for obvious reasons, little boys. Um, Hanky Panky, he passes over to, I'm going to get my sequence wrong here, but it's Bridges. Uh, we've got four German spies all in a row running the cabinet office. We then got Attlee, um, and then uh, Eden Ch Churchill comes in, who's the good guy. Eden is one of the good guys. Eden is replaced by Macmillan. The, the key German assets in the Tory party in that era were Macmillan, Rab Butler, and Duncan Sands. And I see the chairman is very, also very, very well informed, nodding. Uh, Duncan Sands, Rab Butler, and Attlee are probably the key bad guys in the Tory party in the early 60s. Edward Heath is a German spy. Uh, we then move, we see Macmillan promoting Heath. One German spy promotes another. When the Labour Party comes in, the key German spies are Roy Jenkins, Harold Wilson, uh, and uh, not George Brown, who, who became an alcoholic, I think, because he discovered too much about the Labour Party and German intelligence. Uh, Rippen. Uh, yeah, Jeffrey Rippon, certainly for the Tory party. Uh, inside the Labour Party, uh, you have Patrick Gordon Walker, um, very bad news indeed. John Stonehouse, who set up the great train robbery, who then had to fake his own death when it was feared by the Jerrys that he was about to be exposed. He's the Labour cabinet minister who did a, uh, did a, a Reggie Perrin and, and uh, went swimming off the beach and ended up in Australia, uh, although he didn't swim there. I think that was the... <laughs> uh, pity he didn't try to swim to Australia. He might have drowned on the way. John Stonehouse was a key German spy. He was made Minister of Civil Aviation in order to screw up the VC-10 programme, which he did very effectively. Um, and then you had um, uh, sh uh, sh uh, uh, Crosland. Uh, so there, there, there are sort of five really heavy-duty German spies in the Labour Party. Then when the Tory party come back in, the key German spies are Heath, uh, uh, Rippon, who signs the Treaty of Accession, and uh, the Roy. Chancellor Barber. Roy. Roy Jenkins, of course, was Labour. But, but Barber, Barber defected to the Germans with his Spitfire in 1942 with the plans our plans for the defence of the Channel, which is how Canaris was able to get the battlecruiser Shah Norse and Neisenau through the Channel so easily. The plans went over.